I'm Lisa Milady. I am the author of this children's book, Three Little Birds. It's a wonderful story about feelings and what to do when your feelings are hurt and how important it is to talk things out. Three Little Birds by Lisa Milady. This book is dedicated to my mom. A loving soul who taught me the importance of being kind. Thank you for always believing in me. Three little birds sitting on a wire chirping about the day. Red asked Yellow, do you want to go find some worms? Yellow replied, why not? And off they flew to find their snack, leaving Blue behind. One little bird sitting on a wire feeling all alone. That's not fair, they didn't ask me to go. His mood turned dark and foul. Along came two more little birds, green and violet joined blue. Three little birds sitting on a wire, chirping about the day. Blue still felt hurt that red hadn't invited him along. Impulsively, he blurted out, heard red say to yellow that yellow was the worst at finding worms. Blue knew it was a lie, but he thought red deserves it for being so mean to me. Green and Violet looked at each other in surprise. Green asked Violet, didn't we just see red and yellow? We did, replied Violet. Green asked, do you think they were fighting? Maybe, said Violet. Violet was a bird of few words. Feeling curious, Green said, let's go see. Blue felt guilty for what he had done. He said something that was not true and now it had started a rumor. He wanted to take back what he said. He opened his beak to speak, but the words didn't come out fast enough. Green and Violet were already on their way in search of the angry birds. Once again, Blue was left behind. Flying in the sky, Green spied Orange fluttering in a bath. Green said, did you hear the news? Red hurt Yellow's feelings. They're not getting along. Orange looked puzzled. That's funny. I just saw them fly by. They didn't seem upset at all. I know for a fact they are fighting, Green answered confidently. Blue told me. Orange decided to tag along to find out what the fuss was all about. Now, did he really know it for a fact? He's just saying what he heard. He doesn't know if it is true or it's not true. We know that it's not true. Violet saw Pink playing in a puddle. Violet stopped to share the news. Feud, was all Violet said. Where, asked Pink. Come, answered Violet and flew away. Pink followed quickly. Green, Violet, Orange, and Pink all flew together in search of red and yellow, flapping furiously to find the bickering birds. Meanwhile, red and yellow were scurrying around a field, ha field happily finding worms. With great gusto, the others landed around them. Fight, yelled Violet. Red looked up. Fight? What fight? asked Red. We heard you and Yellow were fighting, answered Green. Red looked at Yellow. Yellow looked at Red. They shook their heads in confusion. We're simply looking for worms, said Yellow. We're getting along just fine. Red looked at the group and asked, who told you we were fighting? Pink said, I heard it from Violet. Orange said, I heard it from Green. Violet said, I heard it from Blue. Green said, I heard it from Blue too. Red said, what you heard is not true. He turned to Yellow and said, let's go talk to Blue. Red and Yellow flew off. The cluster of birds took flight, following Red and Yellow in search of Blue. Seven little birds, Sitting a wire, there was no chirping at all. Each one sat quietly, waiting to see what would happen next. Blue was most nervous of all. What did you tell Green and Violet, demanded Red. 
timidly Blue answered, I said that we were hunting for worms. I'm not gonna lie. Ashamed, he hung his head low. Green challenged Blue, that's not what you said. All eyes turned to Blue, waiting to hear his reply. Blue knew it was time to tell the truth. I did tell a lie. I said you and Yellow, you told Yellow she was worst at finding worms, but I never said you were fighting. I think Green made that up. Green exclaimed, what? That wasn't true. I just assumed you meant they are fighting. Didn't you think they were fighting, Violet? Violet agreed. Yep. Red was angry. He didn't like when people said things that weren't true. He wanted to scream at Blue. He imagined yelling at the top of his lungs. That's not fair. Instead, Red took a long, deep breath. He knew how important it was to be calm and talk things out. Even if Blue was wrong, Red still needed to do the right thing. Whew. What made you say that? He asked Blue. Embarrassed, Blue replied, when you went with Yellow, I felt left out. I was upset you didn't ask me to go along. Red realized he was wrong not to have asked Blue. Blue? I am sorry I didn't think to ask you to come along. That's all right, Red. I know you didn't mean to hurt my feelings. I was just upset, but I was wrong to lie and make up that story. I'm sorry. Thanks, Blue. Next time, just ask to come along. Seven little birds sitting on a wire, chirping about the day, agreeing the world is a better place when words are used for kindness. Never again did they lie or gossip. When hurt feelings occurred, as hurt feelings always do, they talked it out. Seven little birds sitting on a wire, enjoying the happiness friendship brings. So my friends, the birds taught us a very important story. Feelings get hurt. And when your feelings get hurt, it's important to say, I feel sad or I feel mad. Give people a chance to talk it out. Always be ready to say sorry. And remember, don't gossip like all the other little birds. I hope you enjoyed Three Little Birds.